Hi, this is Rich Harrington for Tip Squirrel, and I'd just like to give you a couple of quick tips on how to control exposure and focus. Let's start with the image, and we'll right-click and convert it to a smart object. You'll notice that the photo's got decent composition and a nice blur on the background, but the subject just doesn't pop. Well, I'd like to fix that. I'll start with the shadow highlights adjustment. By default, when you load it, it's going to look like this with two sliders, and it's often too aggressive. You want to click Show More Options and start by adjusting the tonal width. This lets you set what's a shadow. So here, I'm treating the darkest 15% as a shadow. The goal is I just want to get a little separation on the crown of the bird from the background. And then I could tweak the radius to get a smoother blend. As you adjust that, it creates a gradual blend between what's a adjusted area and what's a non-adjusted area. For highlights, let's adjust the width a little bit as well and knock down the feathers of the bird. You notice there at the before and after, we have quite a bit of change. That's looking good. As I brighten up an image, I always need to put some color back in and a little bit of contrast because it tends to get washed out. So you can see there that that's a solid adjustment and I'll click OK to apply it. Next, I'd like to get the color balance right, so I'll add a vibrance adjustment and bring that out a bit. That's really just helping get some separation on the background, and vibrance is a very natural way to add color back into an image. Let's go ahead here and make a new layer. I'll just choose Select All, Copy Merged, and Paste, and that's just giving me a flattened version on top. And what I'd like to do now is take advantage of the iris blur. This allows me to adjust this and create a blur on my subject. And I'm just going to set an iris that's in the shape of the bird. There we go. Remember, you can pull the pins to set the transition points. And if you Option or Alt drag a pin, it's going to move it independently, giving you a little more flexibility. All right, that looks good. And let's just find a nice balance. I want the background to further blur out so it's not distracting. I'm happy with that. I'll choose the ability here to see this in high quality and save the mask to the channel. And when satisfied, I can click OK. Now that's going to blur the background and create an alpha channel at the same time. The benefit of the alpha channel is I can use that to create a vignette. Let's switch on over. I'll command click to load, add an exposure adjustment, and just start to pull that down a bit to dial in my focus. And I'm very happy with that end result. For Tip Squirrel, my name's Rich Harrington.